Coming up next, it's a heavyweight clash between Francis Ngannou and John Jones. The longtime Jackson Wink MMA staple. Here is the Albuquerque, New Mexico based former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones. Essentially an undefeated fighter. The only loss in his career by DQ to Matt Hamill back in the day. He has taken all comers. He has chewed them up. He has spit them out. The consensus greatest mixed martial artist of all time, Johnny Bones Jones. John Jones is a supremely gifted athlete. He is explosive with his takedowns and his strikes, and he can be very creative in his attacks. Spinning elbows, heel kicks, he is a human highlight reel. Television. Here is the heavyweight contender, the Predator, Francis Ngannou. As many of you know, he was humbled by Stipe Miocic in his first UFC championship fight. But not much of the shine is off of this guy. He has gotten back to his roots, worked hard on the conditioning over there at the UFC's Performance Institute, and many believe beginning tonight, Francis Ngannou is ready to put his best MMA foot forward. This guy is an excellent striker. What he wants to do here is avoid grappling exchanges, utilize his outstanding striking skills, and keep this fight from becoming a ground fight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with the same height and a similar reach. Now here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herbert Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> And now you see the opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 12 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, Francis the Predator. You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. This, this has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in because it's about to go down right now. Well, how good is this? Reminds me of the good old days of Pride, the UFC Grand Prix single night tournament. This has been highly anticipated by fight fans around the world. And remember, if you sustain damage, that could affect you later on in this one-night turn. Oh, multiple strikes landing here. He has certainly found the range here on this one. He's hurt! He's hurt! He's hurt! He's in deep danger right now. Oh, deep danger. Huge right hand! He has taken some brutal ground and pound here. He's back to his feet, but he's hurt. He is getting off some huge punches here. Both guys landing with conviction now. Uh-oh. Hurt him with that overhand. He's teeing 
off with some vicious shots. Oh, huge shot there, lands flush. Right left combo by Francis and Ghanu. And that one certainly found the target. How about that shin? Tagged him again. He's got a clinch. And Ghanu's got double underhooks. Oh, clipped him with the overhand. firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. Oh, nice take down. Slams him to the canvas with authority. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He's back to his feet, but he's hurt. And he moves on to his back. Hook in the clinch there is good by Francis Ngannou. Oh, that's a big block, Joe. Good shot. That one hurt. Nice combination. That is a dash. Wow. That's crazy. Physically, obviously compromised. Mentally, we'll see if his corner can keep his head in this fight. And here, a perfectly placed punch results in a knockdown. Brittany Palmer is here, as always. Ready. All right, round two. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Oh, a huge block there. Trademark inside leg kick there by Jones. Tags him. Yet another combination is good. Lost the shot here, Joe. The jab followed by the right hand. Leg kick checked nicely by Jones. Oh, man, look how quickly he gets that foot to the oh, target. Him the oh. He is rocked right here. He's trying to stay up. Oh, he might be out. Big left hand. What a wild exchange! Vicious combo there! Oh, we heard him again. He is in trouble. Strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly 
may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. And here we see it one more time. Look at the timing in this shot. Boom. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 45 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Francis the Predator Engano. All right, so Francis Ngannou was all the rage with fight fans coming in, and his fan base will continue to swell after this performance tonight. The frame is only getting stronger, skills only getting sharper, and his confidence is only getting higher. Francis Ngannou is the real deal, folks.